Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going... Well, better than the sheep's, because apparently the sheep has been out all night. Hmm. Don't quite know how that happened, but okay. The day on the agenda, first of all, is the cat festival. And then, following that, mostly it's just going to be Antoinette's birthday. I'm not going to be working on triggering any random events today, but I certainly won't say no to them if they happen. Yes, thank you. Oh, and also, our potatoes should be done so that we can harvest them. And then we're going to go ahead and switch over to the summer sun and replant this area of the basement with summer crops. Now, something I was calculating out in my mind the other day, or today actually, yeah it was today, is just how many spaces we need for various crops. And as for regrowables, if we have two seeds of the highest quality for a particular regrowable, even if it's pineapples, uh, we only need to plant those two seeds, and we'll end up with six, and we can turn those six crops those six crop yields into 12. And therefore, if we have four of a particular crop, seed, then we can turn, we can plant one of those and we'll get three crops from that, which we can turn into six seeds and we'll have three seeds left over. So that's nine. So that's plenty enough for a full a full row gotta make sure to get the right one now you want to take out you want to harvest the crops before you change the sun as soon as you change the sun all the crops will die even if they're ready to harvest so you have to be very wary of that so anyway we're going to want to plant both of these pineapple seeds we're only going to want to plant one of these corn and one of these tomato. And then we'll fill, fill the rest of the field mostly with pumpkin seeds, but we're definitely going to want to do at least one row of radishes. And then we'll reassess later on just how much we need of each. So right, we'll change the sun right now. Here's how you do that. Select it in the inventory, and then we'll get the spring sun. And, the, and then all the crops that can't grow in the summer will, would be immediately dead. So you need to be very careful about that. I believe you can grow trees in the basement, and obviously because they don't die in the seasons where they don't grow, then they wouldn't die because you change the uh, the sun, but they won't. But I think you'll probably need to harvest the fruit first before anything else. Mm -hmm. I just realized we don't have enough space for all the pumpkin seeds, so we're probably gonna want to bring enough radishes for another row. Yeah, one more row of radishes. We'll have one pumpkin seed left over, that's fine. Now, our cats don't have a fantastic chance of winning, but it's decent enough. They're at five hearts, which is near the max for chance to start off with the best best speed thing. Uh, what festival is this again? Are you excited about today's festival? There's a festival today. I'm so excited. This is exciting. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this festival. I bet you have. I bet you're a cat person. Hi, Ray. The mayor was looking for you. This is such a fun festival. <laughs> festivals are... Oh, 
Festivals are always so fun. My girls love them. It's going to be a great festival today. Festivals are pretty cool. I like festivals. Do you? Look at this turnout. How exciting. This should be fun. I'm excited. Yeah. Glory. It's an exciting day. Oh, I love festivals. Hey, yeah. This festival is okay, I guess. Are you excited about today's festivalry? Oh, did you talk to Felix yet? No, but oh. Ooh. Yee Ray, today's gonna be great. Well, it turns out we could talk to everybody. Today's the cat festival. Are you entering? Yes. Great! Choose an animal! So, obviously... Now, what I said... There was something I said before about which animal to enter into various festivals, and that being the youngest one with ten hearts. Or with the most hearts, like, for example, if you have two that have eight hearts, then enter in the youngest one of those. Pets don't die. Ever. You can't sell your pets, you can't, and they can't die, so you can just enter in the oldest one, and it'll be fine. So you want to enter Shadow in the competition? Yes. Great! Let's get started! Welcome to the Cat Festival! Here are the contestants! Number one, Ray! Number two, Helen! Number three, Marilyn! You notice, the other contestants do not have an idle animation. It's just a static sprite. Let's take a look at the animals! Well, our cat isn't starting out with the best one, but it's the second best one. So, let's hope we get lucky. The rules today are very simple! The animal that reaches its owner first is the winner! We're testing the strength of your bond! It's a battle of love! Now let's get this cat festival started! One... And there's another- oh, wow, so we got off to a late start. That's not good. Yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, that cat in the middle <laughs> looks like it's about to die. Uh, that was a photo finish, but I think we got third. Bravo! The results are third place, Ray, second place, Helen, and the winner is Marilyn. Congratulations! Next year's pet festival is the dog festival. Make sure to start forging those bonds with your dogs. I'm going to be looking forward to it. Oh boy, well, that didn't go very well, but, oh well. Like I said, we didn't have the, we didn't have the best, the best chance, so. Wait, did we not give Amiko a flower? Oh, we just, yeah, that's right, we just talked to her. Oh, goodness. In order to get the thumbnail for the streams that I do when I stream these videos, I have to, like, for example, this one, I this festival, I had to actually go through the festival. Well, go to the festival. And I decided, oh, well, you know, I'll try it out. I'll see how it works. I'll see if we manage to get it. And in testing, we won. And the same goes, the same went for the cow festival in the first year. Is that... We won that one. Yet, for some reason, it seems like it's just... And it's and it was the same thing with the Super Lucky Lotto, where when I've tested it off-camera before, we've won lots. And then when I'm actually recording, just... 
awful, awful luck. Although, again, you know, like I said, fifth place, I mean, we had, not fifth place, we had five hearts with our, uh, with Shadow, so our chances of winning weren't great, but we still could have been better. We still could have done, done a lot better than we did. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to do all that YouTube algorithm stuff everybody's always bragging about. The like in the video, the subscribing to the channel, the hitting the bell icon, and my personal favorite, let me know your thoughts down below. I really do especially appreciate that last one, and all of it helps me out, and it helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently, so do not forget. I guess I should note that even though we only got third place, we still did manage to get a friendship boost with Shadow from that, so Shadow will be more likely to be at 10 hearts in a couple of years, but chances are our other cats will be at 10 hearts as well, except for the cat that we get, the, the orange cat that we get uh, in about three weeks. Those potatoes- oh, I was about to say those potatoes are going to be done soon, and I see that that's true. So we're going to do a final count of the spring seeds that we have. Is this just- is this just how it's going to be now? There's just going to be a sheep? No, because I counted them. There were five. There were five sheep in the barn last night, which means that that sheep escaped last night. You like blue magic flowers? Thanks, I'll take it. Uh, apparently not that well. We need to figure out something to give to Amir because he and Miko are both fallen behind in terms of friendship, but with Amiko, we're giving her gifts, with Amir, we're not. In addition to that, there's a random event with Amir that I'd like to trigger at some point. No. Okay. That sheep. You saw what that sheep did. It just, it, it escaped. Let me see. What sheep is it? It's Glaceon, isn't it? No, it's Vaporeon. It's one of the two. It's always one of the two. It's always either Vaporeon or Glaceon. That's just ridiculous. Alright, so we have 69 turnip seeds, 74 potato seeds, 23 cucumber seeds, 44 asparagus seeds, and 14 strawberry seeds. And that should be good enough for the spring. For me? What is it? A birthday present? This is actually a pretty good gift. Thank you. Work hard, but be careful, okay? I really don't want you to get hurt. How about you be careful because you are pregnant and so you don't go out in the middle of winter to sell tree seeds at the bazaar? Morning. I, I think that my father is amazing. Windmills are so complicated, but he always knows how to fix them. Wow, so much snow. I'm itching for a good snowball fight. You look so happy now that you're married. It's kind of annoying. No, I want. Kevin thinks that he's like the best prankster, but you know what? He's got a long way to go still. If you're gonna pull a prank, no one should ever find out who did it. Uh, don't tell anyone I said that, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What do you have to say about snow? About the blizzard? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, one more try and then... It's cold today, but you're still out. It doesn't bother you? Nah, it's much colder in Dracula's castle. Listen, I know, I know that y'all go crazy over... Oh my gosh, again? Which one is it this time? Is this Glaceon or Vaporeon? No, it's Jolteon this time. Oh my gosh. actively trying to kill themselves. Well, I think that's going to have to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope the rest of your day is a good one. And I will see you later. Bye.
What? Lloyd? No, of course not. You wanna know- Okay, listen. I'm gonna give you a bit of a spoiler, okay? You- You wanna know what the highest tier husbando in this game is? Who I'm going to rate higher than all the other husbandos? I'm not gonna say it until you say yes, by the way. Alright. So the top tier husbando, the best husbando in this game, is Felix. Jerry's dad is actually pretty rad. He's all I want, and I'm obsessed just a tad. Sherry, can't you see? Your dad's just the guy for me. It's actually pretty sad. I'm in love with Sherry's. 